Hello, my beautiful Sages. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psyche Sounds by B. I appreciate you being here. Empress energy. Someone's got a mother energy around them. Okay, I'm sorry. This is just the way the deck was. I just picked it up. I haven't looked at it. I just got off of work. So there's something about Empress energy, mother energy, pregnancy energy, something going on here, Sagittarius, regarding this. I find this very, very interesting. I literally, at the store, just bumped into somebody who is pregnant. It's just crazy. I'm Sag, I'm not saying you're going to get pregnant, but if you've been thinking about getting pregnant, you may, um, you may have good news coming up here. If you don't want to get pregnant, please make sure that you take steps not to get pregnant. All right, that message was for somebody. Okay, Sag, just please see the link below and uh, the description box below, I should say, and there you will find all of the links to my website, everything else. I must uh, let everybody know my natal chart has been removed. It is not working anymore. I am nothing I could do about it. It just wasn't working, so I had to take it off. I will put another link to another um, another place where you can go to get a natal chart. It's really, really good. So I'll do that for all of you out there. Uh, if you want a consult, if you want a membership, whatever you want, all the details are below, okay? This reading is for September of 2020, my beautiful Sages. I'm going to pull six cards for the month using the Rider weight, and I will pull one card for one of the clarifiers using the Witch's Tarot. Now, for those of you with memberships to my website, you can get all of the extended readings, which will expand on the clarifiers, uh, additional readings, as well as the Energy Oracle card advice and my Gypsy Love Oracle deck as well. Okay, so just put your energy into the decks you see before you as I shuffle and we will get started. Hope everybody's having a great end of August. And let's see what's happening here for my beautiful Sages. That's good. Okay. Want me to cut now? All right. Here is the first card, the second card, the third card, the fourth card, the fifth card, and the sixth card. All right. Make sure everyone can see that. Very good. Okay, Sag, your first card is the Three of Cups. So Sagittarius, what you have going on here in the month of September, um, you are going to be celebrating with friends, family. I'm hearing sisterly love happening here, Sagittarius. So something is going on regarding a celebration, some sort of healing is coming up here, Sagittarius. Maybe somebody has healed and you're celebrating their health. Maybe you're celebrating your own health. Some really, really good news is going to be coming in towards the uh, end of August and the beginning of September. So this would probably be within the first week or so of September. Remember, these monthly readings, we all have first decan, second decan, third decan energies. So if we're doing monthlies, this could actually go out to about three months. These readings are not to validate your feelings. However, they may, they may validate what you're going through, but these are predictive. So please remember that there's a party, there's a get together and there's fun. So this is beautiful. This is the third uh, house energy up here. So we've got a number three, that is the Gemini energy. So just wanna let you know, Sagis, that you may have a Gemini that is of great significance in your life regarding this uh, upcoming time frame in September, as well as uh, this could be Gemini characteristics, social media, um, contracts, negotiations, siblings, short distance travels. This very well could be Labor Day as well. Some of you having a good time with Labor Day. So this could be going on for some of you. Maybe you already have plans for Labor Day, uh, the first and the second week of September. Uh, that is definitely coming through here as well. So just be prepared for that. Some sort of great... Um, celebration relative to a contract, a negotiation, uh, a sibling, short distance travel, social media, communications of all sorts, the neighborhood, all of that beautiful energy, Sag. Then we have the Two of Swords. So as it relates to the Two of Swords, uh, Sagittarius, this is what's happening as it relates to needing to make a decision, but not knowing which way to go. Okay, so when you have these two swords crossed here, you're not moving, you're not going forward, you're not going backward. Okay, something is here that you're waiting for more information on. 
Is this a premature celebration, Sag? Is this a premature celebration? It may be. But for some of you, this may be a celebration that happens at the beginning of the first week of September. And it gets into this other type of energy where it's kind of like see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. This is a stalemate. Someone is not moving, you know, north, south, east, or west. Someone is staying put, okay? There's a lot of uh, emotions in the background here. But someone is staying calm as a cucumber and they're utilizing their intuition to make their next move. So you might be going through that. This might be related to second house energy, Tauruses, Taurus energy, possess possessions, self-value. Okay, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. Maybe you're celebrating some sort of victory at work, but maybe they're, they end up saying, okay, um, you know, this is approved and this is the direction we're going to go, but there's a delay. So you can't move ahead just yet, but you're going to, okay? So you're kind of waiting it out for things to come together at the right time. The third card is the Four of Swords. So as it relates to the Four of Swords, we have um, a lot of deception and a lot of lies, trickery, separation, all of this that is in the past, okay, that you're healing from. You're healing from this negative energy, this Three of Swords energy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> okay, got it. This has happened in two readings already. So... Somebody may need to come forward and somebody may need to speak their peace and speak their truth. Because it feels to me like you're being oppressed or suppressed in some way, shape or form, possibly by your thoughts. Um, maybe you need to meditate a little bit more, but something's coming up here, Sagittarius, where you, in particular, are healing from a situation regarding the truth that was revealed to you. You're healing from it now. Some sort of truth, some sort of victory, actually. It's almost like you're decompressing after a really, really bad experience, and all of a sudden, you're victorious, you're moving forward, you're free, and what's happening here is like you crash. Okay, and that crash is all about, it's, it's like crying because of relief, like something gets lifted and you're crying because you've been relieved of the burden and you absolutely just, you're exhausted, you need your sleep, that's what this is, Sag. Now for some Sages out there, there might be some sort of need to go visit a cemetery uh, a funeral or something like that, but this is something that um, was already planned, okay? But there is some sort of energy like that coming up here. This is the fourth house. The fourth house is uh, Cancerian energy. And so what this is, is this is home and family. So what I'm sensing for a lot of Sages out there, for some reason, your home and your family is causing a distraction. Maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Because this could be kids being rambunctious and playing around. And perhaps, Sag, this is you saying, I don't hear it. I don't see it. I need to get my sleep. So something is going on regarding that particular type of energy for some of you out there. So your fourth card is the star. And this is beautiful. This is Aquarian energy. This is a wish granted this is the stars aligning to help you, to serve you, to um, give you the boost you need in order to make your dreams come true. This is also vulnerability, okay? This is a wish being granted. This is what I really think this is. I think that you have got a great friend, a loving partner, 
friends at work, family, siblings, sisters, and you've wanted to see your sister for a while, Sag, or a family member or a good friend, and you're getting news that they're coming to see you or they're going to be there for you to give you support. This is actually really, really beautiful. And again, Sages, I do have to apologize. I am going through home renovations and there is a little bit of an echo and it is a little bit dimmer over here, but trust me, I am doing my best to get this done as fast as I possibly can. This is Aquarian energy as well. So you might have an Aquarius that's making you very happy, Sagittarius. That's what's coming up here. Or someone with specific uh, Aquarius uh, alignments in their chart. Beautiful. Eight of Wands. I think what's happening here regarding the Two of Swords is you didn't know which direction you were going to go. You didn't know if you were going to go on vacation. You didn't know if you're going to stay home. You didn't know what you were going to do. And it's almost like somebody's coming in and saying, okay, we are going to go you know, meet the family. We are going to have the reunion. We are going to get together. We are going to move. Something is coming up regarding this. And what's happening here is that someone has their back turned, maybe an Aquarius has their back turned to the movement that is going forward. It's almost like this person is preoccupied by their own serenity to really see what is happening right around the corner. It's like out of sight, out of mind. That's what I'm hearing, Sag. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Yes, that is what I am getting here. This is also the arrows of love. So some of you Sages may have had a hard time expressing to someone that you love them. That could very well be. Maybe they're a close friend and you're like, I don't want to screw up the friendship, but I really want to tell them how much I love them and how much I care for them. Could be an Aquarius person. This is um, the eight. So eighth house is also Scorpio, Scorpio energy. So this is all about death, taxes, <laughs> sex, uh, rebirth, investigations, jealousy, obsession. Okay, all of that. I'm wondering, Sages, are you dealing with that weird kind of scorpionic energy and you're trying to keep it pushed down, like jealousy, obsession, um, possession, revenge, all of that? Are you trying to keep that at bay? Are you trying to push that down so you don't have to deal with those feelings? Or is someone around you pushing those feelings down so that they don't have to deal with them? When you push feelings down, unfortunately, they sometimes show up in a very inopportune time. Okay. And this is Scorpio energy for the both of these cards because they're both the eighth house cards. And that's what rules the eighth house, joint finances, intimacy. So there might be something going on regarding a talk, movement forward, about joint finances or movement forward regarding intimacy and vulnerability for some of you Sages out there. Maybe a friend is trying to get you to meet their friend. Maybe it's a hookup or a setup, a blind date, something like that. Remember, you did have the Empress energy, so you have that mother energy. Maybe your mother, Sagittarius, is an Aquarius. Okay, what's the sixth card? Ah, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. So we did kind of pick up the air energy here as well. And you do have two, two, three sword energies here. So there is quite a little bit of air in your chart right now or in your reading right now. This is uh, someone who cuts to the chase. They cut through the BS. They're an attorney. They're um, maybe a surgeon. Someone who's very clear and to the point. There's someone that's very, very good with their words. They're very articulate. They are basically emotionless. Like they've got emotionlessness. Okay. There's really not a lot of emotion here. It's very stoic, very rational. So you might be dealing 
with this person in September, or you might be exhibiting these characteristics in September. Maybe you have Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in your chart. This is documentation right here is what I'm getting. Documentation, wills, inheritances, um, legal, law, uh, all of that is coming through here. Attorneys. Clear communication regarding needing to be alone. I really don't know how else to put it. I think some of you know what I'm what I'm laying down here. But there could be some clear communication coming here in the future. And I think it's about staying put or it may be about travel. It's like travel gets unstuck at the end of September for some reason is what I'm seeing here. Very interesting. I'll have to remember out of sight, out of mind, because I think that's what I am going to be titling this, uh, this reading. Something about Sagittarius where maybe you want to be with somebody, but you can't be with them right now and you think about them. But the thing is, is you keep yourself occupied because it's out of sight, out of mind. But you would do anything to see this person or they would do anything to see you. It's just the way it's working right now, Sag. So what do we want to clarify, Sages? What do we want to clarify? Should we clarify what this uh, what this beautiful celebration is about? Why this celebration is here? Or um, another message? Because remember, when I do my extended readings, these cards can be a completely separate reading. Or they can clarify these cards here. Some of you also want to know what the King of Swords is. All right, speak now or forever hold your peace. King of Swords it is. Some of you just wanted King of Swords. You're like, I really want her to look at the King of Swords. I don't care about, I know I'm happy here. I want to know what's up with this dude. All right, that's fine. Let's see what's going on. Clarifying the King of Swords, please. There it is. This energy is... The Eight of Cups reversed. You have another eight. There are self-empowerment um, issues in your life right now, whether you've given up your power to somebody else or someone has given up their power to you. There are self-empowerment issues here. So for some of you Sages out there, if this is clarifying, the reason why the King of Swords is here is because somebody came back home. Somebody returned from whence they came. That is what that is. Okay, it could be this air sign, masculine energy. Someone decided not to walk away. And because someone decided not to walk away, here is the lawyer, the attorney, the surgeon, the clear talker, the, the rational person, the rational thought, the victory, the desire for victory. Looking at the documents, looking at the words, looking at uh, the detail of the situation. Now, if this is not clarifying the uh, King of Swords, this is another part of another reading. Someone is returning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it with you. I'm going to leave it here right now with you. Uh, if you would like to join me for the extended reading, you certainly can. You can... Uh, Purchase a membership with me and you can cancel anytime you like. Okay, if you just want to look at this particular extended for this upcoming month. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to clarify. I may clarify these four right here because I feel really good about what's going on here. I really do feel an Aquarius is making somebody very happy or siblings are something about siblings or sisters is making somebody very happy. A wish being granted. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. All right, Sages. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.